So today I'm going to be unboxing some stuff. So awkward. So today I have for you the August unboxings of Nerd Block, Loot Crate, and 1UP Box. So here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the August Nerd Block because Nerd Block was the first one I subscribed to so it has a special place in my heart. Oh man. Okay, I'm just gonna preface this video with saying I apologize sincerely if I cannot come up with any words other than cool, awesome, oh man, oh wow, this is so neat. I don't have a very expansive vocabulary when I do these videos, I promise I'm not like that in real life, but when things excite you, you just don't really have, I don't know. I just, I, yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna start off with the first thing that is in my box, which, if you watched my last video, you might know, I got the Ghostbusters wallet, which was supposed to come in July's Nerd Block, but it was missing from my box, and I honestly, the only reason I knew that is because I read the card that came in the box, so thank goodness they put that in there, because otherwise I wouldn't have even known that it was missing. But I went ahead and I sent them an email and they said they would put it in my next box, which they did, so thank you so much, NerdBlock, for coming through with that. Just a tip, yeah, if you're missing anything from your box, if anything is broken, you can just email them and they will send you a replacement. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. This is the outside of the wallet and the inside of the wallet. So, I really like it. That is so cool. And it's got a little, like, two little um, compartments in here, in here, so that you can fit cash or more cards or whatever you want to fit in there. And there's, see, three card slots in each side so you can fit six cards or if you double them up, which probably is not a good thing, but sometimes I have to double them up. I'm super excited that I got this finally and I can't wait to use it. Moving on to the next thing, I guess I'll go ahead and take the t-shirt out since it's staring me in the face. This is cool. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbusters! What? This is so cool. Like, <laughs> I'm such a geek, but this is awesome. It's a Rubik's Cube stress ball. Yeah, or a stress cube maybe. <laughs> that is really cool. So it's a stress ball, see? <laughs> Next thing I see is, ooh, I think these are coasters? Yeah. <laughs> a coaster of kings. Hope you can see it. And on the other side there's another thing. I think this is from Game of Thrones, maybe? I don't really know. There's like this huge item, oh my gosh. Whoa, it's a Ghostbusters metal lunchbox. I mean, what? That's really cool. And there's something inside. I'm a nerd block. It was so light, like it didn't feel like anything was inside the, the lunchbox, so I didn't think there would be something inside, but when I opened it, <laughs> this little guy was in there. He is called Slimer. <laughs> so he is also from Ghostbusters, and it's really cute. And he's soft and cuddly. Good job, Nerd Block. I really like this box so far. Then there's another thing in here that is kind of heavy, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's awkward family postcards. Have you guys ever seen those awkward family photos, like, on the internet? It's so funny. I don't really use postcards, so I don't think I'll actually be mailing these to anybody, but it's just really funny to have. It isn't easy being the center of attention. <laughs> oh gosh. 
<laughs> he just wanted to show his appreciation. <laughs> this is great. I'm gonna have a real good time looking through that. The last things in the box of the cards. It's talking about the theme, which is summer mixtape. Oh man. Oh man. Not too far from now in the September nerd block. Star Wars The Force Awakens coming to Nerd Block Classic next month. Ah, I cannot wait. Do any of you guys like Star Wars? Because I love Star Wars. And I'm so excited for the movie. Are you guys going to see the movie? You should be saying yes. If anyone says no, I don't know what you're doing with your life. But... Get your priorities in order. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the loot crate for August. So I'm pretty sure that the theme for this month's loot crate is villains. Um, let me figure out where's the front of the box. Am I missing? Oh, okay. I mean, if I couldn't figure out how to open the box, I probably shouldn't be getting the box. You guys, look at the inside of this box. Do you see this? The first thing, I'm gonna pull it out because it looks really interesting. That's incredible, look at this. It's a Venom mug. I thought that when it said mug that it was gonna be like a normal mug, but this is like a molded mug. Like it says on the box molded mug, but I didn't really understand what that meant. I thought it was just a regular mug, but it's a molded mug so it's like actually shaped. That's really neat. I see something about the Joker. It says DC Comics the Joker painted wooden figure. Huh. Okay, I opened the box and this thing was in there. It's just like this purple handle on this white peg. And it has the Joker face and it says haha. <laughs> okay, so there's like their interchangeable heads it looks like. Because this one says he he, and the other one says ha ha, so you can change them out, I guess. But you have to be careful because if you even like go like that, it just falls out. Let's see, there's something in here. Wait, I just realized there's no t-shirt. But there's something in here. Like, I don't know if this is supposed to be in place of the t-shirt. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it's an apron, like in place of the shirt. <laughs> it says <laughs> Los Pollos Hermanos. Oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna show this to my dad because he loves Breaking Bad. The last thing in the box, it says, ooh, Captain America. It says Captain America EFX Collectibles. That's cool. It's like a pin. Yeah, it's not like a pin. It is a pin. <laughs> it's a pin. That's cool. And you know, I actually don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Sorry guys, I'm not cool. And then the Loot Crate magazine also comes in the box and tells you all kinds of cool info that tells you about the new level up subscription which is like this new thing they're doing now where you can add on another subscription so like in addition to your loot crate you could also get a wearable which is like a t-shirt you could either get uh, two different pairs of socks or one to two accessories for women and they're like separate subscriptions, so you have to pay extra for them. And they run about $10 for the socks and $14.99 for the wearables and the accessories. So, I mean, I've been thinking about leveling up, but I don't know. It's kind of like the subscription's already close to $30 or something a month. So to add on something, make it like 45 almost, and I just, I don't know. Um, I think it's a little much, but the items seem really cool. I just don't know if it's worth it. 
You guys tell me if you want me to try. I could try it for a month and see. I don't know. Let me know what you think. The last item in the box is their Loot Crate pin for August 2015. And it says the theme on it, which is Villains 2. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I do every month and turn this Loot Crate box inside out and see what it turns out to be. Okay guys, I think, I think I got it. So if I did this right, then this is the front, there's Loot Crate, and it has the Joker, chains, and a door that says sewer. And on the other side, it's like blueprints or something. Blueprint on the back, and ha ha ha. So yeah, that is what the Loot Crate turned out to be. Okay, so the very last box, but certainly not least, is the one up box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this baby up right now. One up box has really been amazing in the past couple of months, so I'm expecting nothing less. So the theme for this month's one up box is combat. The first thing I see in the box is vinyl collectible, and you guys know that I love vinyl collectibles and I love getting them in the boxes especially. So this one is actually not a Funko Pop. It's something called Dorbs. I guess it's new. And it is a Wolverine vinyl figure. Pretty sweet. The next thing is this one up box exclusive. What is up with the stress balls? Jeez, they're trying to tell me something. It is this star stress ball thing. Maybe this has something to do with Pokemon because the Pokemon symbol is right there. I don't know. Oh my gosh. My little, my little nostalgic heart just, just skipped a beat because there is a Pokemon stretch band, whatever these are called, sweatband thing in my box and I'm super excited. I'm going to put it on because I love me some Pokemon. And you better believe that I had an awesome collection of cards when I was growing up. I would make my dad buy them for me all the time. Thanks, dad. My favorite part was getting like the holographic cards. Those were the best. So that's the Pokemon S Sweat Band. Get it together. Sweat Band. Then there's this really cool patch. What it is? I don't know, but it's cool. Yeah. Oh, it's a combat panda patch. It's time for this kung fu panda pool to kick some butt. Oh, it's like a mix of a panda and Deadpool. I thought it looked like Deadpool, but then I saw that it was a panda and I was like, um, I don't think that's Deadpool. Then there's this, I think this is a sticker. Looks like Mario and Pikachu are on there. Yeah. And then the last item is the t-shirt. It's got um, Link from Legend of Zelda on there. <laughs> Link versus Ink. Yeah. And then the very last, I know I said last, but this is definitely the last item in the box, is the 1UP box pin for the month of August. And it says the theme combat. This has been pretty successful, I think. I think, like, really all the boxes did just great this month. If I had to choose one to be my favorite, though, I think I would say Nerd Block. I think I would say Nerd Block. And Nerd Block hasn't been my favorite box for a few months now. Not because their items weren't good, but just because I liked the one up box or the loot crate better. Just because it had the really awesome lunch box and the plushie and the um the Rubik's Cube 
stress ball that was really cool. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next month. Bye!